Yeah, look, the, the Harris Walls campaign is having a lot of fun right now. I mean, they're on offense. They feel like they are Trump, I think, is is weak and struggling and stumbling. And their campaign has really lost its bearings and they know it and they have to keep prosecuting this advantage. It's really critical that when you're ahead and I think they are and we can debate that, but they have they're on the front foot. And I think it is. It's great to see Democrats acting this way. We're strong, we're powerful, we're unified, we're taking it to them. And there, it's far more effective in, in candidacy to be operating from this place of joy and confidence than from a place of fear and worry. And I think it's a little bit of a new thing for us as Democrats, but it's far better than where we were a few months ago. And I really applaud this campaign. It's been well run and they're kicking ass. Stuart, I was thinking of you today when I was watching that speech uh, at the Economic Club of New York with all those rich people, mostly Republican, uh, in, in that audience. Uh, because because of what you've written about your party, you know, including your former party, including in your latest book about how the Republican Party is, as you put it in your title, driving our democracy to autocracy. Those people in that room clapping for him today, I believe, are part of what you argue is driving us toward autocracy. Yeah, it's completely un-American in any sort of American tradition. And when you think about it, Lawrence, these are the heirs to the greatest generation. The, the people who sacrificed to defend democracy. What do these people have to do? They just have to support someone who believes in the Constitution, who supports rule of law. You know, there's not one corporate board that they're involved in who would allow them to hire Donald Trump. He's unemployable. And so they look at that and they go, okay, great, let's make him president. There's not a school system in America that would be allowed to hire Donald Trump to teach or to be a principal. Or a coach. It is a complete uh, just abdication of what it means to be an American citizen. You can't put the country first enough. I mean, you've made fortunes here under this, you know, this great left wing uh, regime where the stock market's at record highs. It's incredibly disappointing.